Hey y'all, good evening. This is Tanetta, your relationship coach here at Speak Your Truth. And I want to say hello, good evening to you all. And I hope that you all, of course, enjoy the, well, not enjoy, but I guess take something away from this video this evening. Just so you can know how, of course, things will, will be moving forward for the month of April. So I want to make sure that I came on here and talked to you all about what's going on and what I wanted to try to incorporate into the group and that kind of thing for the month of April, considering it's Child Abuse Prevention Month. Um, and just to let you all know, I know you're like, where is she coming from with all this? What's going on? Is this about relationships and that kind of thing? <laughs> yes, it is, actually. <laughs> um, but just to give you a little bit of background, of course. But actually, let me just tell you why it's about relationships. As we know, a lot of people, of course, um, myself included, um, have been sexually abused as, um, as children, possibly in the teens. There possibly may be other things that may have happened, rape and that kind of thing as well. And we'll, we'll, we'll get into that as the month goes on. But like I said, with all those things going on, and especially when you're in your childhood and you have all those traumas and things are not healed, I guess I put it that way. And as we grow, grow and become adults, a lot of those things, a lot of those wounds, of course, will affect us as adults. It affects our relationships that we have with our um, with our partners. It affects the way, of course, our communication comes out. It affects, of course, the way that um, we have intimacy, in, intimacy and sex in our relationships as well. So, like I said, that's that's the reason why I'm bringing this topic up and making sure that I'm talking about this topic, um, of course, for the month of April. And I know it's Child Abuse Prevention Month, of course, like I said, tomorrow, starting tomorrow, April the 1st, which is, of course, April Fool's Day as well. But, like I said, the, what I want to focus on was actually the child sexual abuse and how that, of course, affects people throughout their lives and into adulthood and that kind of thing as well, while I share some of my story and experience that I've, um, I guess that I've had in the past as well. And just to let you know, I guess you're wondering what in the world, where does she get this from and why is this so important? Um, some of you all may, well, actually a lot of you all may not know. Um, I'm a coach, of course. This is just new and that kind of thing. I'm licensed now. I put it that way. I haven't really told anybody, but I will post it at some point, I'm sure. Um, but my main thing, of course, I'm a social worker first. I've been a social worker, how, what is this, 2021? So for about 22 years now, actually, almost 22 years now, actually, in, eight, in May, it'd be 22 years. And of course, I've dealt with a lot of children, a lot of families. Uh, being a social worker, of course, had my bachelor's, part of a master's, that kind of thing as well. But my concentration was always children and families. I'm working with families, working with children, their relationships and all those kind of things with custody because I've dealt with, uh, I was of course working for um, the people, I guess the folks say called the people, um, which is like the child abuse and, and neglect hotline. I worked there for almost eight years actually working with the, uh, I was one of the foster care case managers actually for almost eight years with the St. Louis City, um, I guess, ch uh, Children's Division. And of course with the family court, the, the, uh, with the juvenile court as well. And like I said, through all those eight years, then of course after that I worked for 10 years, a little bit over 10 years, at a homeless shelter, um, transitional housing program, and apartment program for single mothers and their children. Of course, there was a lot of different things going on there as well. And like I said, all the people that, I, majority of the folks that I've, of course, dealt with and for as clients and as far as family and including myself as well, friends and that kind of thing too, were, were a lot of them were sexually abused, I guess I put it that way. Like I said, I know this is something that I've had in my past a long time, I guess I'd say that. And some of you all who were on my regular page several years ago, may have followed my journey of course my, all, i think majority of those videos majority of them should be on my youtube channel actually it's my same name Janetta clay it should be on there as well i think there's over 200 some videos on there so i of course was going over a few years ago talking about my journey talking about but well, just speaking my truth i mean that's the first time that i had ever spoken my truth told about my story anything along those lines in public like that especially on video because i did the entire thing on, like, on video for maybe a year and a half, two years almost. So, so like I said, I definitely have a lot of videos talking about that, telling my story, sharing my journey. And I could not, like I said in the in the post this morning, I could not let the this 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 particular month, April, go by without, of course, celebrating this month. And of course, like I said, bringing awareness to Child Abuse Prevention Month. And like I said, the main focus will be on child sexual abuse, just to let you know. And like I said before, how that, of course, leads into our adulthood with the wounded child, I guess I put it that way, not uh, us as adults, not of course healing from all the traumas, healing from all that sexual abuse and things that's happened and how it leaks over into our adult relationships. I'm a, I'm a witness to that. I mean, I have experienced that as well. And I know many others who adults and of course uh, teenagers and that kind of thing who have as well. So like I said, I definitely want to make sure that I brought this to light and let you all know that this will be talked about next month. And like I said before, I know that. Oh, and thank you, Shira. And thank you, Melanie. 
for tuning in. And like I said, I know for some, this may, of course, trigger some, I'm sure. Um, and if so, I would suggest that any video that you see me talking about child sexual abuse and that kind of thing or um, the effects of it, I guess, as you are an adult, because I, I will go there, like I said, as well throughout the month of April. But like I said, you can either choose to not watch the videos or if you want to watch them on your own time um, and take your time watching them, that kind of thing, that's fine as well. Um, and if you don't watch them, of course, like I said, I definitely understand that reach out to me um, as a social worker and a coach I'm pretty sure I have some information and resources and probably can assist a little bit in, in the area as well so just let me know but like I said I definitely want to make sure that I talked about this I know um, I, 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 I had to debate on this actually like I said um, coming up with this month and that kind of thing and knowing that we're focused on here on relationships and that kind of thing between adults and that kind of thing but like I said before a lot of people have a wounded child of course still within them they have not healed from all that abuse they have not of course forgave the person or however, or however that situation may have went nobody's saying forgetting anything that's happening and I'll get into that later on this month or next month rather but like I said we definitely have to learn at some point how to how to heal that child I guess I put it that way all that abuse and all that stuff that happened I may not be able to get to their 100% but like I said I'll definitely be shedding some more light on like like with um, statistics with some information, like I said, case stories, not with names or anything like that, but but just information, just letting you know kind of my experiences and experiences of others I may have worked with and that kind of thing. And maybe something could, of course, pop out to you as well as far as something that you can, of course, um, possibly work on as far as on your journey to help you heal, to help you go through that process and that kind of thing as well. But like I said, I definitely want to make sure that you all knew what was going on so that when tomorrow came or next month came, you're like, what the heck is she talking about? Nobody ever said anything about this, what's going on, that kind of thing. But I definitely want to try something different, I guess I put it that way. Last year, I did not talk about this at all. Um, but in my mind, um, cause like I said, I've been a social worker for almost 22 years now. And I've dealt with a lot of stories about child sexual abuse. I would, I know, I, the, the, well, they have statistics, of course, but by me working with the with the actual hotline unit, and of course, being the foster care case manager, doing all these court hearings and talking to all these families over almost eight years and stuff like that. Like I said, I definitely learned a whole lot, opened my eyes to a whole lot of things that were going on and had me realize that there was more sexual abuse going on than just what's being reported, which I knew that already. But like I said, definitely with all this stuff going on, like I said, there's a lot of stuff that we, of course, as adults, we grow up, like I said, the communication, the intimacy and the sex is affected for a lot of us, I guess I put it that way. If you were sexually abused, you know somebody that may have been and wondering what in the world is going on with their behavior or why they're promiscuous or why they don't like sex or why my partner doesn't like to be touched in a certain way or why they don't like oral sex or whatever it is. All types of things, of course, spread into adulthood and it will, of course, affect us unless we start healing that wounded child. Like I said, that was something that I went through myself. I know I did math publicly on video. I was talking about it all the time. Talk, not just sexual abuse, but everything else that happened in my past as well. Like I said, I did that a few years ago. You want to check it out, go to YouTube and check it out. Um, it's up under my name again, Tanetta Clay. But like I said, I definitely know that in speaking my truth about all those things, and now I'm, I'm, able, I'm able to talk about those things now. Not crying or not upset or that kind of thing at all anymore. So like I said, I definitely, with all that, I definitely want to make sure that I'm touching on some things that, that some people in this group may need. And if you're not one that needs that kind of thing or need to hear that kind of information, like I said before, definitely you can always not look at the video or not look at the post or that kind of thing or invite a friend that you may know that's going through the situation into the group to, of course, listen and look and stuff like that if you feel, um, I guess, if you feel that to do so. But like I said, I definitely cannot let this month go past without bringing in some of my experience as a social worker here as well. I know, yes, coaching, that kind of thing, but, but like I said, I've been a social worker a lot longer than a coach, I guess I put it that way. And that's where a lot of my experiences came from, including my own childhood and, and upbringing. So like I said, April's going to be kicking off with this, I guess I put it that way. And like I said, for those who may not want to listen to the information, definitely click off or just catch the replay in your own time and do it in your own time. And if not, don't look at it at all. That's fine with me as well. But like I said before in the beginning of this video, if you need to reach out to me for resources to figure out who's in your area that you can talk to, you need a therapist, counselor, that kind of thing. I'm a resource queen as far as the field of social work goes and also advocating and that kind of thing. And that's always what I have always done. So like I said, definitely reach out to me and let me know. Just don't sit there in, in silence and hurting and that kind of thing as well. I know how it feels to be, like I said, sexual abused as a kid. Like I said, I'll talk about that later on as the month goes on. But like I said, I definitely want to let you all know that with April, I'm tr doing something a little bit different with this. I guess I'd say that with 
Child Abuse Prevention Month and talking about just the sexual abuse. I guess I'd say that. Like I said, into May, June, that kind of thing. I'll let you all know what's going on with that as well. I'm trying to make a few changes just to let you all know. So, but like I said, um, starting tomorrow, um, I will be, of course, I don't know. I don't have the time tomorrow. It may be actually early morning before a lot of you all are up because um, I'll be up early at 4.15 tomorrow. So this video may be done tomorrow early before um, before 7.30, actually. So, And if not, you all, like I said, definitely catch the replay and stuff like that as well. But I will kick it off tomorrow, of course, with the video in the morning. But like I said, I definitely just wanted to let you all know what's going on. You all are my tribe. You're my family. You're my people. You're the community that I built here. So I definitely want to let you all know what was going on and what the change for next month will be. Yes, we'll still talk about some of those relationship things and um, sex as well and that kind of thing is also, but I just want to make sure that you know one of my focuses will be on child sexual abuse for next month, for April. And then I have one more thing. Oh, and thank you, Rebecca, for tuning in as well. And I have one more thing that I did not put in the description of this video, but I will after it's ended, actually. Um, but um, starting on Sundays at noon, just to let you know, because I think some of you all may know you saw some of the bedroom candy um, post inside the group and that kind of thing. I will be starting to have like like little um, online parties, I guess you can say, um, letting you all know what kind of product I have today, that kind of thing, give you all some information about it. And I'm going to have to tie these products into, of course, like I said, sexual abuse and that kind of thing as well, because there are some products that people can use to, of course, reacclimate themselves with sex and, 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 and pleasure and stuff like that. It's not just the sales bedroom, I guess, candy, uh, what is it called? Um, sex toys and all that kind of stuff. Like I said, for me, there's always um, a, a science behind things, I guess I put it that way. And like I said, knowing how I had to reacclimate, reacclimate myself, of course, with pleasure and sex and all those kind of things touches from partners and stuff like that of course sometimes i still may have to talk to my partner about different things and stuff like that what i what i may not like and stuff like that and there's always a reason we always talk about that but like i said definitely i want to make sure that i'm doing these on sundays for you all as well so that you all can of course know what 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 kind of products um, bedroom candy slash candy coated has as well but also how it ties into of course like I said, healing from the sexual trauma and that kind of thing as well, and getting getting more react, getting more acclimated with your body, learning your body, learning your touches again, that kind of thing as well. Like I said, that's what I had to do as well, and I read about it and that kind of thing too. But I know that is part of the process. And like I said, some of you all may want to join that, some of you all may not. Um, they all won't be about um, to, just to let you know, uh, like products every single week. Um, but like I said, they will be about different topics, whether that's talking about um, our female body parts, our vulva and stuff like that, just, just educating about the body parts or whether it's talking about, um, I guess, the male penis and that kind of thing as well, or whether it's just talking about orgasms and different things like that or um, how lubes are used or whatever is going to be educational type topics, I guess I put it that way as well. So, so like I said, those will take place starting this Sunday at noon. I believe it is Easter as well, so I understand if nobody's on that kind of things. I know folks may have different church and different things going on, online church or in-person church and that kind of thing as well. But I definitely want to let you all know what was going on and what's being talked about. Um, so you all might be surprised, like, what the heck is going on now? She said she's doing relationships and now it's not about child abuse and these kind of things. But just keep in mind that everything I do is a rhyme for a reason. Everything I do, of course, like I said, with the child abuse, for those who have not, in, um, I guess, healed all, I guess healed from all that trauma, all those all the things that has happened that will affect you as an adult. We, are, I'm, I'm assuming that a lot of us know that, or should know that, whether it's child sexual abuse or whether it's any other abuse or trauma that you suffer and you haven't healed from that kind of thing. A lot of those things will, of course, come out in behaviors, come out in the actions that you have, come out with the relationships that you have as you get older and as you grow into, I guess, into adulthood. So, so like I said, keep that in mind. So we're still going to be focused on relationships, just a different, um, I guess, avenue of this, I guess, well, well, for next month, for April. But like I said, I definitely want to let you all know what was going on. So with that, I want to say thank you all again for tuning into this video. For, um, for Shira, Melanie, and Rebecca, I hope that you all are having a great evening and your day was fabulous. Again, I'm Tanetta, your relationship coach slash social worker at Speak Your Truth. And I want to say again, thank you all for tuning into this video. Everybody have a great evening. And also, if anybody has any questions or anything, you can feel free. My, my, my messenger is always on, that kind of thing. So so definitely feel free to, of course, reach out to me through messenger or just post, I guess, post a comment up under here. And I'll definitely make sure because I'm always checking stuff. So that I make sure that I check it and respond to you as well. So, so with that, I want to say have a good evening, y'all. And thank you, Kevin. I'm actually getting off of here, Kevin. So you'll definitely have to catch the replay. 
So for those who catch the replay, definitely enjoy. And like I said, let me know if you have any comments or concerns or anything like that for me and or anything that you may want to hear about. I guess I put it that way for next month as well. So like I said, when, like I said just let me know. So with that, take care, y'all. Have a good night.